Three things the Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole beef changed in hip hop. April 7th, 2024 will go down as an important date in the history of hip hop no matter what side you look at it on. It was the day one of hip hop's brightest stars, J. Cole, in his prime, apologized to another current hip hop giant, Kendrick Lamar. It's an apology heard and discussed all throughout the culture, live and in real time, and I'd say a solid 20% feel J. Cole did the right thing, and a strong 80 feel this was the weakest move in hip hop history, comparable to LeBron joining D-Wade and Chris Bosh in Miami, so he didn't have to face them to get to the finals in the East, or Kevin Durant blowing a career-defining 3-1 lead versus the Warriors. Then, instead of getting better and going through them, he joined their team months later, leading to the only rings of his career. Of course, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've already heard the reason for Cole's apology by way of response to another day important in hip-hop, the day Kendrick released arguably his most powerful, culture-shaking verse after his control verse, that being Metro Boomin's Like That featuring Future and Kenny, who stole the show throwing jabs at the supposed big three in hip-hop concept burying dogs and bongs all over, but aimed in the direction of the first-person shooters themselves, J. Cole and Drake. The verse hit like a nuclear bomb in hip-hop, giving us the most exciting nearly two weeks hip-hop has seen in a long time, maybe since Kendrick did it with control. Will Drake respond? Will Cole respond? Does Kendrick have a secret weapon tucked in the chamber for Drake like reports have been? Is this the test for Drake and Kendrick we've all been waiting for? Who'd win if they did battle? No matter the answer to these questions, it was a gift to a culture we all respect, love, and want no real violence to come from, just competition. Finally. It's been two weeks now and Drake still hasn't responded. He's thrown some bait out there as if he's ready to, and we know Drake is a shrewd operator and he's battle tested over the course of his rise in hip hop. So I do think those were a sign he's letting Kendrick Lamar know he's ready and willing, hoping Lamar makes it more direct. As the days went by, excitement still high in hip hop because we know that time is of the essence when it comes to responses, and two weeks must mean something has to be happening soon. Well, something did. J. Cole released his response to Kendrick called 7 Minute Drill, to solid but less than expected response from the community, but still, he responded. He said things he can never take back about Kendrick, before something else happened, something no one expected. J. Cole apologized on April 7th, citing his soul isn't sitting well and that he's waking up from nightmares and cold sweats, asking God to realign his soul to a different path. That day changed hip hop in many ways, but these three are the biggest. Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth Music. Let's get it. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Quick history of this beef and the quote Big Three. Kendrick, Drake, and J. Cole are all rappers from the 2010s era. Drake releasing his debut album June 2010. Kendrick followed July 2011 and J. Cole September the same year. By mid-decade, all three were established in the game as the best it had to offer on a mainstream level, all great in their own right. Drake, best mainstream music and achievements overall, J. Cole, the people's champ for his humble and motivational pen, and Kendrick Lamar, the purest MC that fits the bill for encompassing bits of both J. Cole and Drake in that the people love Kendrick for the same reasons they like Cole. His pen competes with any top five dead or alive, and whenever he does drop, he affects the charts similar to Drake, and some argue if he released more, he would be in Drake's competition, sales and awards-wise. With them all rising at the same time, of course there would be some tension and competition, which has all been tempered by subliminals until now. Kendrick said mother fuck the big three, and things changed. Change number one, we lost a hip hop grade from competition.
Remember I said there were about 20% of the responses in favor of J. Cole apologizing and even Styles P responded and said because J. Cole put his apology on his self well-being, half of him has to side with him doing it for that reason. That's where I think J. Cole touched that 20% right in their feelings. But those of us in the 80% that aren't touched, call that. There's no well-beings in hip-hop rap battle, in hip-hop sparring, especially in a beef that features these contenders. Whoever thought violence would occur outside the booth between Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake? In my opinion, there was no place for an apology from J. Cole when the battle isn't even nowhere near getting to the point it becomes physical or something out of hand or even disrespectful. Between he and Kendrick, I don't think it would have ever gotten there. Even so, save the apologies for if that day comes. J. Cole for about 2-3 years now has been on an amazing feature run where he said things boasting about if not being the best rapper alive close to it where at least there's a big three in the discussion. He said exactly that on First Person Shooter featuring Drake. Drake has acknowledged it but never announced he was sharing the throne with anyone and Kendrick just came out and said f*** the big three only for Cole to apologize for releasing a response disc to Kendrick that has fans ready to burn his Dreamville jersey in the streets. I'm not mad at J. Cole for gracefully bowing out, I'm more disappointed that he responded, then bowed out. As a hip-hop fan who loves competition and seeing the best of the best competed out, that was weak, unnecessary, and it tarnished J. Cole's legacy. He can never call himself the greatest again. No top great is scared to go to lyrical war. No top great pops shit then apologizes for it. Maybe down the line but mid beef before Kendrick even had a chance to make his move and you do this? We lost J. Cole from the GOAT contention, placing a ceiling on himself not accepting Kendrick's challenge. Change number 2. The race for the top spot of their generation is left to two competitors only. That being Kendrick and Drake. On a mainstream level, only those two check all the boxes to still call themselves the GOAT rapper of their generation of course. With Cole clearly out the race due to a self-inflicted headshot and tipping of the cap, Drake and Kendrick now weirdly face off in a match of strategy on a course that seemed inevitable since the mid-2010s. Kendrick has thrown the last shot but not because Drake hasn't responded means he's not ready. He just knows he can't do to himself what he baited Meek into doing in their battle, then clowned him because he didn't fall for the bait. It's been two weeks later and many are wondering where's Drake at? Is he up for the battle? Is he waiting to see if Kendrick directly calls him out? Is he preparing for the rap fight of his life? Or is he released from any pressure now that J. Cole stepped in and took the shots for him? Kendrick responding first isn't necessary and probably won't happen now that Cole has apologized and Kendrick gets to see how strong his verse really was. Who knows, if he waits a bit more, maybe it'll make Drake apologize too? Nah, I can't front on the boy, he's not apologizing. I'm just saying the beef is at a standstill now that J. Cole stepped in the middle of the proceedings like Moses. Even if there is no continued beef or sparring between these two immediately, I'm sure the subliminals will continue to fly and maybe one day a full on back and forth where honestly I think Pusha T and Meek gave Kendrick a lot of ammo to approach this beef and Drake has the talent in his songwriting to make a career ending response. Either way, it's only the big two now, no more big three nothing. Change number three, real shit may have died. Like rap super producer Hitboy posted on X, it may be over for real shit. He even ended it with Kendrick's prime album title according to J. Cole, Damn. What I take from this is what J. Cole did with his apology was open a lane for competition to fade away and possibly die in this sport we love. Whenever you use mental health, self health, I need to get my spirit aligned, anything that has to do with God. It's hard for anyone to question you as we all have the ability to feel empathy, sympathy and compassion. But we can place those over what drives our love for something like hip hop, competition. Competition has been there since the beginning and is what creates the most entertaining moments as well as solidifying all around 
You as an MC are the best, like you claim in your songs. We love competition, but sad to say, this may create an entire generation to follow one day that do exactly what they did in the NBA. Since LeBron J. Cold his way to D. Wade and just about every other great player, all the greats under him started running like roaches with the lights on to find who to click up with next and here we are, where teams are stacked with three Hall of Famers all buddy-buddy with the opponent's big three. Hip-hop isn't to be gentrified, we need that gritty, aggressive, competitive nature to it. J. Cole let Nas down first, then us, then confirmed he will never be the number one rapper, not even of his era. All in all, it was fun while it lasted. Hip-hop got to see at least from Kendrick and Cole warm-ups to sparring as Drake sat back screaming, I got next, I got winner. But now that an apology from one side has come to pass, there's no need for Kendrick or Drake to really respond to it. Drake maybe, but will he after all this time? In a track, no, maybe a verse later down where he subs it, but directly, no. Kendrick's job is done. His longest charting song in history, 15 years in the game, is accomplishment enough. And he got a top MC to apologize, or as J. Cole said, stuck his chin out for a free shot if Kendrick wanted it. What? Anyway, salute, much respect to all involved, but let's keep hip-hop competitive. It's your boy JC Stunning Growth Music, and I'm out.